So one of the things we talk a lot about in aviation is safety for a lot of good reasons. It's pretty important every aspect of flying, right? It's why we spend all the time pre-flight planning and inspecting the airplane every time we fly and making good decisions um, when we fly. But if we're going to be honest with ourselves, every time we take that runway, push the throttle forward, we're taking a risk. I mean, there is inherent risk involved in flying an airplane, and that's why we work so hard to mitigate risk at every step, at every turn. And so one of the things that I talked a lot about with my wife and daughter uh, during the training process and as we got ready to step off here as a private pilot and, and travel together in the airplane was how do we maximize safety uh, for them when they're flying with me in the event that something happened to me uh, medically while flying. So we decided that it's going to be important for both uh, my wife and daughter to uh, be able to, at a minimum, get the airplane reasonably close to a runway and land the airplane. So we spent a little bit of time in flight simulator. We did some just a general understanding of um, aerodynamics of the airplane, aviation, practice some flight sim. And then um, they're also, once COVID-19 has kind of passed, going to take some additional training with the CFI to get some basic understanding of, of landing the airplane. So this flight today is my daughter Cecilia's first flight in the front uh, with me. She went with us a couple times, you may have remembered in a couple videos. One at the Outer Banks, uh, which was like my second or third flight ever. Uh, and then again, uh, with Tyler and I one winter uh, sightseeing kind of around our area. But today, she's in the front. So come along, see a couple of uh, landings at Clarksburg and just some general familiarization with the airplane. Nice retire, Mason Delta Time 1753 Zulu weather. Wind 210, Texas visibility 10. A few clouds 2400. Ceiling 5500 broke. Temperature 240.16, altimeter 3003. Runway 21 in use. Rivals expect ILS or visual approach. Hazardous weather, West Virginia surrounding states. Additional information available, flight service frequencies. Five minutes contact information, Delta. Paramount traffic, Skyhawk 385, two Lima now taking runway 23. Going to be making a straight out departure southbound Paramount traffic. Got a lot of wind right down the runway, so that's good news for us. That'll help us get airborne. All right, I don't see any other traffic. Do you? No. All right, you ready to go? Yep. Mixture's going in. Power's... Oh, that's just so it's already there. Right rudder. Let's go fly. Airspeed's alive. Here comes 60. Let's go ahead and rotate. And you're flying, lady. Clarksburg Tower, Skyhawk 3852 Lima with information Delta about six miles north inbound for the option. November 3852 Lima, Clarksburg Tower, wind 220 at 4, runway 21, clear to land. Clear to land, runway 2152 Lima. So you can see the airport maybe right up front of us, straight off our nose out there in the clearing. Uh, There's a big strip of pavement uh, kind of going that way, like yeah. look a little further out. You see it out there? So, he, so now we've reached the top of it. Can you hear okay or do you need more volume? It's a little quiet. November 5 to Lima, did you want the option, sir? Yeah, if we could get the option, that'd be great. November 5 to Lima, Roger. Runway 21, clear for the option. Clear for the option, runway 21, 5 to Lima, thanks. All right, so we're trimming here. We're getting set up for a little cruise. We're just about 95 miles an hour. We're at 2,500 feet. And so I was trimming just now because I wanted to, I took some power out and I wanted to level off. So I've trimmed so that I don't have to have any back pressure or anything in yeah while we're here i'm still climbing a little bit it's very different in the front very Better. different i think so too i mean you can see everything yeah so you can see the runway now yeah so he cleared us for the option so straight ends like this are hard when you're not in the pattern because it's like it's hard to know where you should be in terms of altitude yeah 4711 contact departure see you later Departure, So I'm going to get over here closer to the center line, and we'll take a quick list, of, a quick look at our descent checklist. Mixture adjust. It's already rich. Power is desired. Carb heat is required. And then our before landing checklist. Uh, seats and seat belts are secured. Fuel selectors on both. Mixture is rich. Carb heat is desired. Then airspeed flaps. 
before landing, checklist complete. So I'm gonna pull the power back a little bit. We're going fairly fast, 100. It's insane how close those are. <laughs> yeah. I did not know that they were that close together. Oh yeah, they're right. It's right it's here. It's like a 20 minute drive. I know. All right, we got to get slowed down a little bit here. We're high and fast, which is pretty normal for me. So let's go ahead and bring in another notch of flaps. Treat this like our base leg, and we'll start slowing to 80. Never realized how many hills. Wind calm. There actually are. So I'm just over 80 now, and this is about as slow as you would want to be. Okay. Probably ever. Okay. Trying to keep that same spot on the runway in the same spot in my windscreen in my view. And we're just going to ride it all the way in. This is where you did your check ride? It is. The runway looks so much smaller. I mean, I know it is that big, but the perspective, you know. So I'm going to go ahead and go flaps 30. We're going to get slowed now to 70, to 75. runway and power can come out now we're just trying to keep our nose down the runway and we're going to keep pitching up just keep pulling back see how i'm pulling okay we've got a little balloon there and we're down pretty good huh yeah flaps come up we're going to do a touch and go because we were cleared for the option are you ready to go again yeah all right power's coming in right rudder we'll get over on center line and we're already ready to rotate. And we'll climb away. So when there's bumps and stuff, it's just pockets of air that like... That's right, different temperature, different pressure, different wind speed, and you know, the speed and the wind of the directions might be changing slightly while we're going through it. And that's all we're doing. Like on this point, we're trying to keep 80 miles... Number five, two, Lima traffic pattern at your discretion. All right, we'll make left traffic if that's okay. 5-2 Lima. All right, so we're... 5-2 right, Lima, Roger. Wind 2-2-0 uh, two, two, at 4, runway 2-1, clear for the option. Clear for the option 2-1, 5-2 Lima. So I'm trying to keep 80 miles an hour on this climb, and, and the field at Clarksburg is 1,200 feet. We don't make any turns when we can help it until we're at least 700 feet above the ground. Just, we don't want to trade off any of our vertical lift by turning until we get altitude where we could potentially recover if we had an engine problem. Yeah. So when we get to 1,900 feet, I'm gonna start a left-hand turn because he gave us a clearance for a left traffic pattern. So this is important as well. The traffic pattern is 1,000 feet above, typically is 1,000 feet above field elevation. So what that means is when we get to 2,200 feet, okay, we're gonna stop our climb and that's the elevation we're gonna fly this pattern at. Um, and I'll show you why that's helpful in a minute. Um, we're trying to keep an eye out. We want to make a really nice rectangle around the runway, basically. So when we're perfectly perpendicular with the runway, one, w one way to cheat is, you know, it's 2-1. So I'm waiting until 2-1 is perpendicular to me on that because you can't really see the runway right now. Yeah. Now you can. See us flying a perpendicular path? When we get to 2200, I'm going to level off. And we're going to start a, a left-hand turn and enter what's called a downwind. And that, that's parallel to the runway. So it's basically just like, however, like 3, 4, 90 degree. Exactly. Exactly. Now, you want to take your turns. when it, If you're doing this when I'm not available. Take your time. Don't easy turns. Don't make yeah. any sharp, steep turns. Nothing more than like 30 degrees of bank. Yeah. I mean, just or maybe even 20 to yeah. be safe. Just nice, easy turns. So now I'm powering back because we're in the pattern now. It just looks... This when, uh, turning, turning final when you get up there is the turn when you're... That's right. That's turning final. And you want to be super careful on that one because that'll be as slow as you'll ever be. Yeah. So you, this will look different to you from your seat. But to me, the runway is cutting about two-thirds of the way up my wing strut. That's how I That's how I space myself from runways in a traffic pattern. And you'll That's a big plane. Yep. So now, when we get even with the numbers, or our touchdown point, we're going to set up for landing. And to do that, we bring carb heat in. 
we bring our power back to like in this plane to 1700 rpm and we let ourselves get inside the white arc and put one degree of flap 10 oh, degrees of flaps and, I it, felt it. and then we put the nose over because we want to start descending right we've got to start getting down to and we want to fly this leg right here this this downwind at 90 miles an hour and then we're just watching our runway out here to see it get to be about 45 ish degrees off of our shoulder off of our, from our touchdown point and then we're going to turn what's called a base leg this 90 degrees is going to be our base turn so i'm going to turn it probably right now and don't be freaked out when you get in these when you're no, when you're this nose down you can be a little bit more aggressive with your turn because you're fast your nose is down and it's a lot harder to stall the airplane uh -huh. in that configuration so i the, i typically do that at 30 degrees now we may be a little bit low maybe just a skosh we're going to put in a second notch of flaps let's try to start slowing down to, to about 80. we're at 80 now the final looks clear you always look to make sure nobody's going to run over you <laughs> making a nice easy left hand turn to final no slower than 80 through this turn and if you find yourself overshooting like going past it uh -huh. don't try to fix it and jam it around just, go, just around. go or go past it and come back in if you've got the time but don't make a super sharp turn trying to save it and that's another way that, to not rush take your time take your time take your time at that point if it's you flying you're trying to save you not me don't worry about me I want to make sure you guys take care of yourselves. And I mean, ultimately... This is perfect here. Let me uh, just hang on. We have, we'll have these conversations when we're not on final. Okay. A little more power here. Because we're just a teeny bit... Danny Avion, Klein Clutch Brick Tower, say again, call sign, sir. Avion 5304 Kilo. I mean, this this is a perfect setup. So you see how the runway looks in front of us. Remember this sight picture. And Avion 5304 Kilo, I didn't. This is a really good sight picture, okay? We've got tons of energy here. We're at 80, so I'm already pulling the power out because okay. we've got time to slow down. We've got lots of runway here. Now, there is a little bit of a crosswind, too. Ready on, uh, five, three, I went bad at all. Observed you're about a two five miles to the airport. Show you at 3,600. All right, you want to go uh, one more time? Straight in, runway two. You want to get off here? Let's get off. Right. And Clarksburg Tower, Skyhawk 3852 Lima, short of runway 21. We'd actually like a uh, right hand departure northbound. Sky 3852 Lima. Roger, would you like to land somewhere or fly following to the north or just going out there to fly around? Uh, we're actually just headed to Clark's, uh, Fairmont. Cessna 3852 Lima, Roger. Advisor, ready for takeoff. Uh, we're ready to go, 52 Lima. Okay. November 3852 Lima, runway 21, cleared for takeoff. Right turn out approved, wind 220 at 7, altimeter 29 or 9 or 8. Clear for takeoff runway 21. We'll make a right hand turn out northbound 3852 Lima. All right, final looks clear. And here, because it's not a short field, we can just roll right into And your door's locked, your seatbelt's good and everything? Yep. We can just roll right into this takeoff. In other words, we don't have to um, stop, stop and use every inch of the runway because we don't need that much runway. Yeah. Um, so we will check the engine, though, as we do this um, to make sure it's making good power. Make sure the engine instruments are in the green. They are. We got a crosswind from the right, so we have a little bit of right aileron in. There's rotation speed. Now watch what the nose wants to do once we get up here. So once it hits this wind, it's gonna it's gonna weather vane into it. So the nose is gonna point right. Okay. It's not doing it too bad right now, but you can see a little bit we're crabbed to the right. Yeah, the wind was changing. It was alternating between straight to the right. Yeah, so. if it was a real strong, stiff, like steady crosswind, much faster than that, the nose would have whipped around to the right. So I always tend to get, I need to keep my nose up more here and let the speed get slower. So, that, I mean, because we can climb faster. If I keep the nose down, our airspeed gets faster, but we're not gaining as much altitude as fast. And what we really want to do VY speed is 80 in this plane. That'll give us a, our best rate of climb over a long period of time. And so we, we want to get as much altitude 
as quickly so as we can. Essentially, it's 80, the magic number. In this airplane. Said, in this plane. Climbing, that's the ideal thing. But that's then right. when you were landing, you said that that's as slow as you wanted to be when you were. 80. Turns. It just happens to work out that way that in this plane, 80 is a, is a number that is good for a lot of things. Okay. That's just a good, safe number to remember. If you don't, you know, in the panic of it all, if you don't remember anything, 80, 80 miles an hour is a, is a. It's the slowest safe speed and it's the best climb speed. Okay. Now, I just got a little bit of an updraft there. I don't know if you felt it. We just climbed like 100 feet. A little bit, yeah. Cessna 5 to Lima, frequency change approved. Have a good one. All right, over to advisory for 52 Lima. Thanks for the help. All right, let's give Fairmont a call. We're uh, eight miles south. Fairmont traffic, Skyhawk 3852 Lima, 2,600 feet. We're eight miles uh, south. We're going to enter our left downwind for runway 23, Fairmont traffic. So, some key markers for you when you're navigating. Okay. You can already see the NASA facility. Well, maybe without your glasses, you can't. There's a NASA facility straight uh, off our nose, a few little yeah, satellite dishes. Yeah. That's just this side of Fairmont Airport from us. Uh -huh. So, like, it's just on the other side of that from here. Oh, it's going to be like, I can't see the airport, but that's because it's, like, not yes, very big. exactly. And see, this helps us, too. I use four flight all the time. Here's uh -huh. where we left, Clarksburg, just now. There's... Fairmont, and I'm just keeping this little, these little green arrows right, out yeah. here. Yeah, I'm just following four flight. Fairmont traffic, Skyhawk 3852, Lima now three miles south. Uh, Going to enter our left downwind here for runway 23, Fairmont. Right, let's bring carb heat in because we're getting close to that 2100 RPM. It looks different than in your yeah, video. Like uh, Zero, Mike, November, I have you five by five. Thanks. So he asked for a radio check, and nobody else responded to him, so I thought, well, I guess I'll respond. All right, we're getting down to 2,000 feet, because that's pattern altitude for Fairmont, because they're, they're, instead of 1,200 feet, that airport's at 1,000 feet. It would get a little bit confusing that it's airport interstate, Yeah. but the interstate's much smaller now, that's right. I can tell once I'm up here. All right, I'm trying to get down to... Oh my God, there's Walmart. Yes, yes. Exactly. Does that make it? Does that make more sense where yeah. it is now that you see yeah. it from the air? Wow. Isn't that cool? It's a really big uh, cement lot. Oh yeah. Fairmont traffic, Skyhawk three eight five two Lima is turning a left base runway two three Fairmont traffic. All right, we're going to turn left base here. Pull out just a little bit of power because now we're fast. <laughs> it's 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 micromanagement like that, Celia. It's just little oh, adjustments constantly. Yeah, East West Stadium. You see East West Stadium off your nose. Yep. Okay, 20 degrees of flaps. Final looks clear. I slow hate the feeling when you put flaps down. I know, I'm you sorry. Feel it slow down. Fairmont traffic, Skyhawk 3852 Lima is turning final now for runway 23, Fairmont traffic. Okay, we're at 80. Everything's good. Now I want you to look at the river. You can look kind of out my window and then it'll be out yours. Yeah, the, I see it. The trestle is like to our right. It's uh -huh. like almost right under us. Yeah. All right, I got to pull some more power out at this point because we are still high, which is great. A good position to be in. Better than the alternative. Yeah. There's going to be a little bit more flappage here. Yeah. All right, so now we're trying to slow down. Crazy to think that if you kept kayaking. <laughs> yeah, you're right under it. All right, so now we're a little slow. So I'm gonna let the nose down. And just a teeny little bit of power is all we need. You're losing altitude, gaining speed. Correct, that's the trade-off. This is perfect, this approach looks perfect. 74, windsock is pretty much dead. So I'm just gonna fly this all the way down. Yep. Little float. All right, we made it, bud. Did that landing freak out? Traffic, uh, yeah. Zero my November is crossing the runway from up. So I, there's still, it's obviously not as big as Clarksburg, but still runway. And lots of runway. Get down yes, stop. lots of runway. Not so nearly as much. It's a, a just a, it's just over a third the size. I was underestimating a little bit. I thought it was like you had All to right, we'll get down early. No, 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 you got lots of room.